Hey everyone, it's uh, Brian coming at you live from the Lafayette College landfill dump site. Um, this is the place where the college has been plant ops and putting all of its um, organic matter and even a lot of inorganic matter such as concrete, uh, rocks, rubble, rebar, um, parking barriers, all sorts of things. So we'll take a little tour and take a look at some of the stuff that's been going on here. Right now I'm actually on top, probably one of the highest points in the landfill, which is about 30, to, I'd say 30 to 40 feet deep. Um, so if we'll take a look around here, drops off behind me, and here's the the cliff that I'm uh, talking about. There's like a 30 to 40 foot cliff here. So we can look out over the land. You can kind of see the that's where the track is out there with the big, nice, flat mound that they of earth that they just kind of put there. It'd be interesting to see how they how that gets moved in the future. Uh, and you got the light poles coming up from the field hockey field with those row planted willow trees um, that they're going to use as fuel, which are now going to be used as structural members for trellises and different projects on out the Metzger site. In the distance of the, that green building out there is the plant operations. Uh, maintenance shed uh, where they work on all their trucks and all those sorts of things so that might be moved in the future potentially we'll see um, and then also we have the community garden uh, kind of blocked by those trees over there um, but that's been really successful something you can actually see right here in this low air you can see where the water comes through um, it, it's a darker patch where there's kind of like a trail that's that's where the water flows through the site and it actually flows down right underneath this cliff which has actually disrupted the natural flow of water on the land and you know all this monoculture farming this corn farming is just not good either but so looking in the site we see all sorts of bramble sticks uh you know chopped up leaves from on campus and logs and things they've cut down trunks of trees and Oh, different wood and plywood, things with nails in it and pipes and all clay, you know, metals, things like that. Not a lot of it. It's mostly organic matter, but there is, there are some plastics out here. I saw some tarps. Um, so what we're trying to actually do is reuse some of this waste material. And if you see behind me, uh, we have these piles that we kind of formed out of some of the newer dumpings from the college. And these are... These, all these sticks that we have here, some of the slate, and this pile of sticks are going to be used for actual art projects within the in and around the community garden. Hopefully, we have some more. Some of these sticks are going to these uh, branches and limbs are going to be used to make projects as well. And something interesting to notice out here is if we look where it's flat, like behind me, where it's relatively flat. We see just a lot of weeds and a lot of random lower growth. And if we look where it's mounded up, over here, we actually have a stand of forest that's popped up because it's been mounded up. And we'll see, we'll check out those mounds right now. Here's some more of the wood that's gonna be used for a project. This is actually cut down from the weed forest. That's what I like to call this area, the weed forest. And we can actually we can actually draw some uh, some conclusions from this site, some something about how our landscape actually works, why there is this weed forest in this area as opposed to no weed forest in the flat area, and that's because of these mounds. You can see these mounds in here. It's been mounded up. It was just kind of dumped in mounds. It wasn't leveled out. And what happens is, you know, the water's there's there's a, a hot side and a cool side to these mounds in the in the um, winter, so it's kind of extending the growing season on the south-facing sides, and then on the on the other sides, um, it's cooler. Um, that's why we kind of have this moss and stuff growing on these south sides because it's it's cooler, shaded by the trees, and it's also on the south side of those mounds. So the, any water that falls in there collects, doesn't evaporate as quickly because it's cooler, and we have these kind of like microclimate that gets produced within just this small area of land. We have this this weed forest that's sprung up, so that's pretty interesting thing to look at and this wasn't even designed this is just this is just a result of our ignorance and our uh you know this dumping of this material out here kind of formed this weed forest so that's pretty cool to look at and one other thing some of the other stuff we're going to check out you 
to walk over these mounds. We're walking through the forest right now. So we pop out through the forest and then we're, com we're kind of confronted by this masonry dumping wall. This is the mason dump wall here. We have all the bricks, all the concrete pieces, rocks, boulders, um, you know, pieces of wall and sidewalk that was torn up on campus over the years. And it's just dumped in on the edge to kind of contain things. All this, these are all cut pieces of big boulders of concrete. We've got some rusting pipes in here. Some nice pieces of, uh, we've got some metal, some metal rebar here. And uh, yeah, this is all just waste material that the college kind of dumped here. Didn't know what to do with. They didn't actually think about how to, how to keep this stuff separate and sort it so that it could be reused which is really what the college should be doing with all this type of, these types of materials. They shouldn't all be put, could be put in the same area, but they should be kept separate so that they can actually be reused. And then you won't even be generating as much of this waste because you're reusing the other stuff that you have. So you're not buying new materials, you're just reusing the old stuff. All these, all these rocks could be used to make some of the walls out here. You know, we have, we have these resources, these are available. All these rocks and stones and boulders and all this, all these bricks and masonry. You're not going to build a, a whole building out of this stuff, but you can parts of these parts of the buildings, parts of some of the different areas and walkways and patios and things can be built just from these waste material, perfectly free materials. The only thing you need to do is move them. And uh, you know, we really need to start to reconsider how we're we need to reconsider how we're managing our waste. Um, on and off campus. So we'll walk back through the weed forest. Take a little walk through here. These mounds are pretty cool. I'll tell you what, it's a nice little place to be. It's not bad. Could apply some of these mounding principles to some of the permaculture areas uh, once that site starts to get developed. So we're walking through more of the flat area now. And over here I just want to show a couple more things. Going on a little tour of the, the landfill. So we have over here a bunch of concrete parking barriers. Concrete barriers. And I can pretty much assure you that these are just gonna be left here to to go down into the earth, to, you know. This is where they're staying, basically, for now. They're too old to be used. They don't look nice enough. They're not good enough for the college. So they just get dumped. So all these could be used for, hmm, benches, tables, uh, you know, containment walls, steps, um, all sorts of, you know, steps on the sides of slopes, all sorts of things that these could be used for. That now, now, right now, they're just being used for absolutely nothing. They're just chilling out here. Oh, here we go. Let's, let's check this out. We got a little, got a little hole over here, a little rabbit hole, a little gopher hole in the side of one of these mounds. So actually, you know what? Even though this dumping is that bad, it's created uh, sort of a, an ecosystem or a habitat for these different animals and plants to uh, live in. Here's another little hole, I think. Yep. So we got another little hole down there. So even though we've been, you know, we've been dumping here and doing all this bad stuff, there still is some, some good out of it. These uh, little animals and plants being able to spring up and stuff, but I think it could be put to much better use.